What's going on everyone, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a video. It seems fitting that I should return just after the Call of Duty Modern Warfare beta is finished. I was lucky enough to play both weekends because I do own a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox. So the first week, or the first weekend, uh, which I played as much as I could with obviously having to deal with real life stuff like working. So I played as much as I could and for what I played, most of it, I did enjoy. I, I did find it to be uh, somewhat on the sweaty side. I did also find that I was not as good on the PlayStation as I was on the Xbox. And the gameplay that you're watching now is actually from the second week of me playing on the Xbox because that is my preferred console of choice. So overall, I really enjoyed the beta for the most part. Like I said, it was rather sweaty and it could be quite hard to get onto decent streaks. I know people have got nukes, but you know, obviously for me, not been playing Call of Duty that much either. So uh, being a little bit rusty and obviously a new game, new maps. And obviously in the first weekend, we were kind of restricted for the first day or two to what game modes you could play. So you had to play Domination 20v20 or whatever the game mode. And obviously, I'm more of a team deathmatch player. So when that actually opened up and I could play team deathmatch, I actually found that I enjoyed playing Domination and the, and those kind of games more than I enjoyed playing team deathmatch because I found team deathmatch to be a, a little bit on the the campy side, should we say? But then all of the game modes could be a little bit on the campy side because some of the maps were rather large and a lot of the maps had multiple routes and multiple windows and people on roofs that when you first start playing the game obviously you're not used to because you don't know where to look and what different lines of sight. Um, like I said the first weekend being a little bit more sweaty obviously I'm playing with a lot of people that pre-ordered the game obviously I pre-ordered it myself on both consoles because I wanted to play the game maybe a little bit stupid but hey I had the money so I thought fuck it so I play, played it on the PlayStation like I said the first, the first weekend I found it um, a little bit sweaty a little bit hard. I really enjoyed the gunsmith and trying out different combinations of guns and obviously after watching videos on YouTube with um, people like Exclusive Ace saying about some of the, the cons on some of the attachments actually aren't that much of a con at all and don't affect your gun too much so I decided just to keep playing around and put stuff on the guns that I actually wanted to put on the gun rather than concentrating on the pros and the cons for each thing if that makes any kind of sense. So I finished the first weekend uh, at the max level of 20 and you know I, I thoroughly enjoyed what I played for the most part some of the maps like the Azir Cave one not a big fan of people sitting in dark corners you can't see them I'm sure you've seen that on multiple videos from multiple YouTubers saying the same thing so I won't bark on about it so the second weekend I decided to play it on the Xbox obviously I had it already installed went to play it and obviously there was a problem um, with the date or something they put on it so it, it wouldn't work for a good hour or two but eventually when it worked I initially when I jumped on the the thing that got me straight away is that I'm, I'm coming on thinking oh crap I'm gonna to start right from the beginning again and rank up all my guns and rank myself up again and when I turned it on lo and behold there's a cross save feature that was there which I didn't even know was going to be in the game that when I turned it on, all my guns were there and I was at level 20 from me playing on the PlayStation because it obviously goes by your Activision account, which I was more than happy and more than pleased with because it then, then I was just like, went straight into the game and I had an absolute blast for the first evening that I played so on the Thursday evening. Um, obviously, I didn't get to play that weekend as much as I would have liked because even though I was off work, it was my other half's um, birthday. So we were out doing various things. It was a birthday on a Wednesday. So Thursday, I actually managed to play for most of the evening. Friday, we were out in London. So I didn't get to play a hell of a lot. And then Saturday, I played for a little bit in the morning. But then I, on the Saturday morning, I did feel a little bit on, again, on the sweater side. And the crossplay feature as well seemed to work really well. I played with a lot of PC um, people using a controller, obviously. Um, didn't play against any PlayStation players for what I noticed anyway. But I thoroughly enjoyed it again. But I found it a lot easier on Xbox. I kept doing this thing on the PlayStation where my finger would slip and hit the middle pad 
and then I push square and it ended up going onto someone's profile, normally my own, and then it just sat, stay on that loading screen for ages. Didn't have that problem in the Xbox because you haven't got the massive pad on it. Um, so that's why I found it easier. And obviously being my um, console of choice, it made it even better for me. Um, I didn't get to play with any friends because none of my friends seemed to be playing the, the beta, but you know, I still had a reasonable amount of good time on my own. Like I said, I played around with the guns a lot more um, on the Xbox uh, than I did on the PlayStation. Playing around with different combinations. There's so many different combinations. That's the one thing I really liked about it was how much uh, you could do it at the gunsmith. It was, it was really good. And I can't wait to see all the camos and stuff that come on it. Um, obviously, I played... Um, the 32B32, and I personally, I know a lot of people really liked it. I wasn't a massive fan. I only played a couple of games. One of the games I backed straight out of because I just get getting killed from every direction known to man. Um, obviously, on the first weekend there was no mini map, and there was on the second weekend. Obviously, it still doesn't show red dots. I still think it should go back to being how it was before. Nobody ever asked for it to be gone, and I don't see any reason why it, it shouldn't be there now in its full entirety as it was in previous Call of Duties. Yes, you've got the little bit across the top that shows the you know the the, the numbers and whatever you want, but I just find it's something else that I'm trying to look at. I'm trying to look at the mini map to see the map layout, which is a massive help. But I'm also looking at the, this little compass bit at the top. Just trying to look where the gunfire is, and I just find it a little bit distracting. I've just been looking in one kind of area. Considering I'm playing on a TV, I'm not a monitor. So anyway, I had really good. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, some of the maps are uh, <coughs> a little bit on the large side. Lots of lots of different lines of sight, and hopefully, uh, when the full game comes, we get to see some other maps, and it won't be so bad. So I'm looking forward to the launch of the game. And obviously the new thing that's happened, obviously, is... And I, I wasn't even going to mention this at all. I was going to do a video today just talking about my bait experience because I haven't done a video in ages and I thought, you know, I, my channel's based around Call of Duty so you know, I need to kind of start uploading again and getting back into this, this thing of doing videos that I'm a little bit out of doing because I haven't done them for such a long time. But anyway, so this exclusivity deal... Exclusivity deal... If I say it right, with PlayStation, look, I know that Xbox had the exclusivity deal with Activision a long time ago when it was with the 360. And I know we used to get the maps uh, a month early. Well, I get that. But, and uh, I don't think that there should be any exclusivity with any console or PC, any, anything. There should be everything available for everyone, which this year there's going to be when it comes to the maps. So obviously as the maps get launched... We all get them. We all get all of the stuff all at the same time. And then, obviously, the single-player campaign trailer dropped, which, by the way, looks really, really good. I mean, it looks stunning. <coughs> and then, obviously, at the end of one of them, because I think there was a couple of trainers, it said that the um, Spec Op mode, the survival mode, would be an exclusivity for PlayStation for one year. Which, look... I'm not majorly bothered by it because I didn't play a lot of Spec Ops when it was in uh, Modern Warfare 3. Right, it's not something I'm overly you know, mad about. And I'm lucky that I have a PlayStation and an Xbox. But for people that are on you know, Xbox or PC, I get there's a deal struck. Right? I get there's a deal struck. But doing it for a whole year, a whole year, so by the time the Xbox people and the PC people want to be able to play it or can play it, this game is also going to be pretty much over and the next Call of Duty is going to be coming out. I know there's lots of people that own Playstations that are saying stuff. People on Twitter saying, you know, people are doing videos and saying that people have been rude to PlayStation people about it. But I've seen a lot of people that own Playstations that are kind of saying to people that are, that are with Xbox that basically you just need to shut the fuck up and get on with it. And basically saying, remember that you had the exclusivity deal back in the day. Which, which they did. The Xbox did have the exclusivity deal back in the day. But it was for a month. It wasn't for a year. And this is a whole game part of a game mode that's being cut out of the game. It's there, but you can't touch it. And you're still paying 50 to 60 quid, 80 quid, or whatever the, the one you've... You're still, you're still paying your, your money for a game. And you should be able to, entitled to get all of that for the money. And I heard kind of the money that PlayStation put down for this was something like 50 million or something ridiculous. But it sounds... Absolutely. I mean, who who at Sony thought that was a good deal? Let's give them fifty million, and um, and Activision go, yeah. But you can have um, uh, the the Spec Ops mode, survival mode. That's it. You can have that for a year. So I don't think it's a, it's a major thing, but I can also see where people are coming from. I think exclusivities need to completely go. But I definitely think people with PlayStations need to kind of chill out a little bit and think, how would you feel if there was part of a game 
and you're buying a game and paying the same price and you can't play it. So, like I said, I'm not overly bothered by it. I'm glad that we're getting all the multiplayer maps this year and everything for free. So, you know, I'm more than happy. But I can see where people are getting annoyed. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments down below. It's good to be back. Let me know how you feel about the exclusivity deal and what you thought about the beta. Anyway, that's all I've got and I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.